This is one of those theories that you use so much, then sometimes you forget that someone actually invented this. So it becomes like a natural law or something like that. So um, it's called the principle of moments or Verignon theorem. Um, it says that if you, uh, the moment from a force, so for example, you have a 30 degree inclined plane, we're calculating moment with respect to this point, let's say at a 30 degree angle, and a force coming exactly directly perpendicular to that 30 degree. Let's say we are having 20 pound force in um, applied at exactly 90 degree to this plane. And this is 30 degree. So here, this is our pivot point where we are taking the moments. So this theory says the total, so because of this 20 pound force, let's assume this distance is 10 inches approximately, not approximately exactly. So the total moment with respect to this point, so moment with respect to this point would be, um, this will be a clockwise moment. It will try to rotate this piece clockwise. So it's gonna be a clockwise moment, which is a negative. So it is the force times the shortest distance, which is 10 in this case, but perpendicularly. So that's gonna be 200 pound inches. This Verignon theory says if you resolve that in two different, see if I can grab a different color pen, it will get black. So if you resolve this force in components, so kind of extend a little bit, so that's going to be then 30 because that's 60. And then so we can resolve this force in this direction and also this direction. So this component will be, um, this is 20 pound force, 20 sine 30 degree, and then the perpendicular to this x-axis component would be um, 20 cosine. So this component would be 20 cosine 30 degree. So that's the force perpendicularly. And that is our horizontal force. We resolve that. Now we need the distance of the line of action of this force. Now this distance, we need this distance now for to calculate moment associated with this force, the vertical one. So this distance, we can simply calculate by using, so this is 10 inches still. So we can write this distance would be 10 sine 30 degree. And then the horizontal component of this 10 would be 10 sine, oops, cosine 30 degree. 30 degree. Now if you take moments and we assume counterclockwise positive, all moments sum to zero, or not zero in this case, if we calculate the component moments counterclockwise, so we can say that vertical force, 20 cosine 30 acting vertically this way, that is um, 10 cosine 30 away. So we can do the force, vertical force, which is 20 cosine 30 degree, and it is from the pivot point, 10 cosine, oh my, cosine 30 degree away from the pivot. And this will cause a negative moment because it is pressing this way vertically. So it's gonna make a clockwise moment. So that's gonna be negative. And then also this force, this horizontal force, the line of action is 10 sine 30. So this force, that's also gonna do a clockwise moment. So it's going to push this like this, so it will eventually move, rotate like this. So minus the force is 20 sine 30 degree in that direction times the distance of that force. So this is the line of action of that horizontal force, and the distance is this, which is 10 sine 30 degree. So now if you do all this calculation correctly, I found exactly 200 pound inches of moment 
which is the exact same as what we have calculated previously for that single force, resultant force, 200 pound inches. So this is what Varignon theorem is.